Hello friends and welcome again to the Icarus Adventures of Meat Popsicle and Sir Dialot. In this episode we are leaving this crappy little house we built. I mean it wasn't so bad but uh, we're gonna... Oh, the last bear. Come, check out the last bear. Yeah, let's, let's let him be. Beautiful evening in our little house. It was nice while it lasted, but we decided we were going to be better served uh, leaving to go set up somewhere a little more central in the map. So, a uh, quick nap, wake up in the morning, we're taking a moment to repair all of our gear, make sure that everything is uh, brand new, uh, then fill our pockets with all the uh, iron and copper and uh, sort of necessary resources that we have and then we close the door and uh, if you look on the map yeah that's it something a little more central we'll see if there's a good spot uh, take those stairs probably for the last time fix them up because they're pain to walk up if you uh, if you don't fix them up and off we go it's a beautiful morning to uh, go and explore not too many uh, troubles ahead they as you can see in the top right they've added the like two day weather information and uh, a very interesting story here is that on the day they patched that their studios uh, in Auckland actually got flooded because of bad weather and uh, one of the problems they had with this patch which they wanted to hot fix was that the weather is a little too violent as uh, as you may have noticed in the last few videos so they're gonna tweak that in an upcoming patch but they haven't been able to hot fix it as quickly as they wanted to uh, because they got some pretty bad weather themselves which is a really interesting turn of event so we're walking down uh, killing a few things on the way just to stay safe you know and uh, we thought we would like to be close to the cold biome and uh, the warm biome just so we'd have you know a little bit of variety and we could try our hand at a few different uh, things and explore a little more because this world is going to be uh, an open world that's sort of there for a long time and our base is going to be permanent uh, the river here is interesting, but there's kind of rough mountains on both sides, which makes it a little uh, difficult to access the spots on, on both sides. But, oh, look at this. Okay, so we're about the middle here, and all of a sudden I turn around and I have this beautiful view. Uh, look at that. It looks like that big mountain has a giant mouth with stone teeth I'm like yo sir dialot shouldn't that be our base like isn't that the coolest thing you've seen so obviously we decide that's where we're gonna set up in that little sort of creek uh, it is more or less central in the map as you can see uh, maybe you can't see it too well but uh, it's it's kind of a central spot in the map and it's gonna work well for us so we we struggle to get to the top it's kind of a pain to to find the right way to jump up we'll obviously need some stairs there but uh, it's a great place and it's gonna have a nice view and there's even a cave there so uh, oh yeah that's gonna be perfect it's gonna be so beautiful and you see there's some cold on both sides there's a nice river in the middle so we might eventually get running water and uh, yeah i think we can be happy here so we'll get down and start to build the weather got really really bad really quickly but one of the side effects we discovered is that because of the the sort of crevice we're in because we're in a a little almost like a cave in the, the mouth of a cave let's say uh, a lot of the wooden bits of the house are protected from the bad weather which is really cool I didn't know that was a, a thing 
so I, I had set up a little uh, place but it, it was in the right spot so we really wanted to be central and uh, make sure there's a few uh, pillars there just to support the structure the weather is terrible as you can see so I have to kind of hurry and just wrap it up maybe I made it a little too big uh, that's usually my uh, my problem is I don't want to make just a like a two by two cube uh, at first I want to make at least a semblance of a of a real house but oh my god the weather is really really bad right now can't see shit uh, it's the middle of the day it's not even nighttime but it's the middle of the day but uh, exposure is already really high as you can see I'm super thirsty so I'm gonna drink a little bit of the river uh, fortunately we brought some food uh, I can get a bit more wood so I can at least finish what we started uh, but uh, but yeah this was a tough construction we really needed to hurry up and get that base at least set up the main thing is as soon as you have an enclosed base you can already set down a bed and you will be able to uh, respawn there if you ever die. And since there's a lot of hostile creatures and they're kind of mean and even the weather is trying to kill us. As you can see also in the top right, my, uh, my armor is pretty much all screwed up right now. So we have to be a little bit careful. Like we can, uh, we can revive each other. Okay, I'll need to build some stairs quickly because right now this is super annoying. First order of business, make a torch so you can see something. I'll follow the guy. Now that corner here is a little better. As you can see, it's super finicky. That That's not going to stay. Fortunately, uh, almost done with the house. I think that's enough wood. I'm sure... Yeah, that's, that's going to be fine. I'll be able to finish the last few bits just put some stairs here good uh, there's a couple more walls needed obviously we need some windows because it's so nice we can't ah, thank you sir uh, there we go just three more pieces of ceiling and we shall be good now that is a box which is not my favorite but it is a house so make a bed, set it down, and uh, there we go. And next order of business. So you cannot sleep in this game unless you have a bed that is enclosed and that is next to some sort of a fireplace. So uh, once we were done, I put a box down just so we can drop some of our stuff. It's really hard to craft and, and, and be efficient if your pockets are full all the time. Uh, making a crafting bench, which is a pretty critical, sort of first order of business kind of thing. And then uh, after that, uh, I probably... Uh, oh yeah, I'll just drop some of the resources in there so we'll be ready to craft stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, the water and oxygen tend to be uh, the first few things you need to take care of. I need some more wood. Uh, there's no more wood. It's annoying. Still, okay, let's drop all of this in the bucket and... Uh, Alright, I think that's fine for now. And... Uh, Okay, clear off some of the space. I kind of don't want to go back down right now just to, uh, you know, to get some wood because the weather's so bad. I'm gonna wait for it to be, uh, to be done. Oh, I think someone needs my help here. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be our first bear. You all right? Nope. Can't see anything, so hopefully I'm just hitting the bear right now. Well, okay, now he's on me. Oh boy, he's kind of trying to eat the house. Oh, okay. First bear of the new setup, and I manage to uh, be victorious. So that's a uh, that's a. Uh, 
That's a big win for us. I'm happy with that. I'll just get my friend back up and we are good to go. That's so fucking annoying. Alright, so let's get some stairs done because this is not gonna be possible. I'll do something really simple for now. Uh, the, the main thing to juggle is sort of, you want to be close enough to the, uh, the, the rock wall that you can actually anchor yourself to it every once in a while, but you don't want to be too close that you're actually colliding with it, because that makes for terrible things. Uh, terrible visually, which is a, a, an unacceptable thing. So I'm just going to put some pillars down, I'm going to keep going up. Alright, uh, as you can see the weather is still pretty terrible here, uh, but it only makes our little victories that much sweeter. Uh, this is already crumbling, so I have to act really quick when I do this. Uh, this is gonna work. Okay, so I can anchor this through the floor right there, so you can see the cracks disappear because the the other piece of floor was actually inside the wall, which uh, made it secure. And now I can actually keep building on it, uh, and uh, that piece of wall is just... The, the piece of floor is actually acting as an anchor point. I, I kind of dig that whole uh, like structural integrity system that they have. I think it's, it's quite well done. I've seen a few in some... Uh, of the different uh, survival games that I play, and uh, I, I think that this is one of the good ones. Valheim had a really nice one too. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a complex system, and you don't want it to be absolutely realistic, but you want it to be fun. Okay, so now we have some stairs. This should be uh, a lot less painful to get up and down. Hope. Because, the, as you saw anyway, the bear didn't have a problem getting up, so it's not like it would protect us. But uh, eventually we'll be able to build some, some guard rails and things. So now, as you can see, I am now building a... Uh, a mis what, where did it go? Oh, I removed some of the resources before it was done, so it's not done. Okay, masonry bench. Uh, as you see, I skipped ahead a little bit, so we had time to build a few things inside the house. Uh, the masonry bench allows you to create walls and floors made out of stone, uh, but it requires quite a lot of uh, iron nails and a lot of leather, too. And a shit ton of rocks, obviously. But that means that we will soon have a, a stone stone house which is gonna be uh, unfortunately there's a lot of rock right here so a lot of those caves you find in the world actually are uh, closed off by a big uh, sort of cap of stone in front so you have to sort of open your way into the cave which is a cool mechanic but it also means there's a huge amount of rock right in front of us so that's great so i'm going to be able to make some walls and to uh, to make sure that our house stays secure but as i have noticed uh the great thing is right now our house is uh, actually protected from the elements so this was an epic fight uh right outside the house there was a bear all of a sudden a jaguar jumps on my face uh, he, he's a Jaguar level 1. I don't know if that's why he was stuck in the uh, in the water, but uh, I'm I'm not doing great with the uh, the bow right now, and I need to hurry because there is a bear attacking my... F oh, he's dead. So we managed to fight off two gigantic predators at the same time, collecting my arrows back, because I shot quite a few of them. And don't forget to skin the jaguar. I am, uh, I'm kind of happy. That was an epic fight, and we were victorious once again. Now I go back in. I will change the steps for uh, stone steps. I want to make sure that they are more or less indestructible, uh, and so they'll stay here. Also, they blend better with the scenery, which I think is uh, is a very valid concern. Ah, look at that. It's much better. 
I'm not a fan of that little uh, piece of, uh, of wood that's there, but that's okay. I'm building... Okay, here I want to build what's going to be an extension to the house, just to make it... Uh, make the... the, the the floor, um, the footprint bigger, but I also want to have a bit of a patio, but I'm like, I, I need to make sure to merge these two. So if there are two constructions that are separate, you won't be able to join them because they're not going to link up properly. So I need to build the stairs from the, the bit here. So yeah, I'm going to do exactly what I had, but I'm starting so I'm, I'm gonna remove all the pieces as I go along. Okay, no. Come on. I'll need a few beams. There we go. Come on. Okay. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I, I like this. Okay. Gives it a little uh, je ne sais quoi, I guess, is, is what you call it in French. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be... Uh, oh, no, I gotta be faster than this. Yeah, there you go. There we go. So sometimes, you know, when, when you see stuff start to crumble, you have a couple of seconds before they, they crumble for real. Uh, and if you can place an anchor point, then it's all sort of secure. Take off that uh, oxide, and now we have stairs that lead up. I I like it. It's out of stone, and it's actually uh, on the bad weather is back. So this is gonna be great when we have like electricity running, so we can put lights everywhere. Uh, I I also know that uh, they're gonna patch the game, and uh, they're gonna make the weather a little less drastic. But because this game is set to hard, I believe it's always going to be uh, something we'll have to contend with, which is absolutely fine. We, we wanted this to be a bit of a challenge. We, uh, we were served. Yeah, th this is just to show you just how absolutely difficult it is to even see what's up. I, uh, but look, I was coming back, my pockets full, walking slowly. And I look up, and this is already like a really, really cool setup for a base. So I'm happy with that. Now, what I want to do here, actually, it was a request from uh, from Sir uh, Dialot. He's he's like, oh, whenever we bring back some uh, like a carcass of some animal you just hunted, it's kind of a pain because I don't want to have to drag it all the way up to the house. I'd like to be able to just skin it right here. Is there a way for you to make a little thing? So I'm going to make a little, uh, essentially a hunting shack. It's not really a hunting shack, but see, it's just a little square thing there. And we're going to put a skinning bench in. Uh, and uh, there you go. Those are nice little uh, pillars to hold it up. And I put a door. So really, it's it's not about having a secure house. It's really just about having a place where you can go and skin creatures. So you don't have to bring them all the way up every time. And then it's a matter of, of you know, getting those resources and bringing them into the house. Now, I want to make a roof here, something a little more interesting. So I'm going to I'm going to make a couple of different pieces of angled walls and see what kind of shape I can make that could be fun um, those half walls are kind of cool uh, and it's yeah no I'm, I'm gonna do something like that it's a it's a bit of a weird angled shape because it's sort of longer on one side I like the asymmetry of it uh, so yeah okay let's let's do the whole roof like that and it's not too high but it's enough that when you're inside, you don't feel uh, like you're... Like it's not claustrophobic, but it's not too high either. So I think it's, I think it's going to make for, for a nice uh, house shape. Now I have to add some more pillars here because the, the ceiling were 
and like it's starting to be uh, in the yellows and I don't like that and the other thing also is that at some point all of this is going to be stone and stone is much heavier uh, so I, I, I want to make sure that it's solid all the way through this is uh, this is not bad maybe I could add a little awning or something in front at some point uh, but I, I don't think it's necessary right now. Um, no, I think it's good like that. I'm just trying to find the, the correct angle to, to go and place these. Ah, there we go. Alright, now, finishing off the roof and uh, adding a, a lightning rod. That's very important. We need a lightning rod. I don't know if we are uh, like prepared. Uh, like we, I know I'm sort of protected from the elements in this uh, little cave mouth that we are in. But uh, anyway, so the, the lightning rod, I need to remove it, and then I'll be able to place it on top. I'll, I just need to uh, find a way to get on top. Okay full roof is done I can remove these and eventually maybe there's gonna be a second floor I'm always wondering should I make a second floor or should I make a second building and build like a compound or something also we're missing a few of the stone walls so I'll have to do that eventually but this is already starting to take uh, take shape and, and, and be quite an interesting little setup. I'll make this uh, little flat ground piece a little bigger. That's going to be nice. Okay, let's just put... Uh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just something I can go up just so that I can uh, go and put the... Uh, there we go some stairs just so I can drop the uh, lightning rod on top of the house there we go what a view what a view so I'm gonna leave the stairs there who knows and I decided I'm gonna build like a basement now if you remember in the very first episode I was super annoyed because some of the rock was showing true uh, in our old house and I didn't like the look of it, but I think that if we have like a shitty basement, uh, it kind of adds to the uh, to the look of the thing to have a few rocks poke into the walls and into the floor. So I I kind of dig it. So I'm gonna make a a, a shitty basement for our base uh, because we need a place to put like machinery and things like that, and I I feel like it often it it takes away from the beauty of the 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 kitchen area and the the living area if you will uh so yeah let's finish this basement i don't need much to do this i could put a window but then you wouldn't get the the basement feel really uh just a window is fine i guess it's such a nice view we got to you know, you gotta milk it for all it's worth. You gotta wrap it up. There we go. And put the last wall. Uh, yeah, I can put the last wall now. There we go. And now I'm gonna go inside, remove this. And then I can take, like, the, the furnaces and put them downstairs. Okay, drop some of the materials in here. That shit is heavy. Uh, and uh, have a little fruit salad. There we go. So, uh, okay, well, our setup is sort of uh, well on its way here. I'm gonna remove those. Uh, drop. We've got a lot of iron already made. And uh, 
I made a couple of uh, wall torches also that I'll be able to put in different places in the house. They're not great because you have to refill them with fuel all the time. Like you put sticks or fibers or something in there. Uh, so it's not ideal, but it's so dark in the house that I really need to find something. But I, I like the basement. I think it, it looks like, like a crappy basement and that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to put a torch here. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a torch in here. I'm going to put some things and see it's just enough to give it sort of a spooky look. Uh, I put a little handrail on the side so you don't fall in uh, by accident. And uh, yeah, we are well on our way to a great new place in the proper spot. I sure hope you enjoyed this little piece of adventure. I sure did. Next time, we'll most likely focus on trying to crank up the production of this little adventuring compound and continue to turn this into the most amazing construction ever. See you then.